welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming a very exciting video. I am so excited. I just got my Sephora order in from last Friday. If you knew what happened last Friday, you know that the Machino X Sephora collection launched and your girl got some stuff and I'm so, so excited to show you guys everything I got. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So before I crack into the goodies, I just want to say a huge WTF to Sephora. This collection was by far the worst launch I've ever seen in the history of launches. Like I've seen some things sell out really fast, but I've never seen the type of foolery that Sephora kind of did this last two weeks. I'm surprised I haven't seen more videos about it. I haven't seen any big beauty gurus call Sephora out, which I think is really strange. But is it also really because they all probably someday want to be in Sephora? So are they really going to take on a huge brand like Sephora? But I'm just confused. Like, I don't care what happened. I just want an explanation of what happened because to me it makes no sense. So when this collection was announced, it was set to launch on August the 11th, which was two Fridays ago. Well, August the 11th came and went. There was no collection to be launched. And then I believe Trend Mood and Sephora tweeted or like Instagram something saying the collection was just a little bit delayed, which was totally understandable if it was like a quality thing or if shipment was delayed. But the part that really pissed me off, bigger YouTubers and beauty gurus receiving the product as PR. So when I told my husband the collection launch was delayed, the first thing that came to his mind was that they delayed it because a lot of the YouTubers didn't get PR packages, which I thought was so odd because I already had a feeling that this palette was so hyped. It didn't really need more hype, you know? So it was really strange to me. I think it's so odd that Sephora held off the launch. If it wasn't because of the beauty gurus, I would really like an explanation as to why it was held off because it didn't seem like it was a product issue or anything like that. So super strange, whatever. So then they announced that the launch was going to happen August the 18th and I had been super sick the 16th and the 17th of August and I was like crap like this is going to launch overnight. I just knew it because that's what Sephora typically does with their launches. They usually launch it like early in the morning where most people are still asleep so that their site doesn't like crash all of a sudden. But I underestimated how much traffic Sephora was going to get on this collection. I have a feeling since it was a designer collab and since most people, you know, like couture and I feel like these items are definitely collectibles, but I underestimated it. So I was really sick. I wanted to put my phone on loud, but I didn't want it to ping all night long. So I just put my phone on silent, went to sleep. Woke up at like 3.30 a.m. because I needed to use the bathroom and of course like any good beauty junkie the first thing I do before even going to the bathroom is check my phone and I see Trend Mood had posted that the collection had launched so I was like cool you know I'm ahead of the game. It was like an hour and a half into launch. I get on the Sephora app and of course the bear sold out, the highlighter sold out, only things that were left were like the compact, the little palette that looks like this in case anyone's curious and then the brush set so I was like WTF like everything sold out are you kidding me and I was so upset but I still bought three anything I could get my hands on and I was literally bummed the whole freaking day you guys I was like talking to other YouTubers and talking to anyone that would listen to me about how this whole thing was so unfair because they launched it at night and First of all, they didn't send out any of the notification emails because if you shop on Sephora pretty frequently, you'll see there is a email notification when a product comes into stock. And I don't think anyone got their notifications. I maybe got a notification for one of the things I had signed up for, which was the brush set. And I got that way later in the day on Friday and I don't even think the brush set was available at the time. I got marketing emails from Sephora with the bare palette. And it's like, why are you sending me this shit? Like, it's sold out, you know? So I just thought Sephora did such a bad job handling that launch. And then, oh, it gets better. So Friday night, I'm like trying to make peace with the fact that 
I had saved up for this bear palette and now I didn't even need the money because there was no bear palette for me to buy. So I was like, you know, getting really sad and depressed and looking for other makeup to buy, which is a perfect segue into, I bought the new NARS stick foundation. So look for a review on that if you guys are interested. I purchased my sh summer shade. So I'm really, really excited because I am definitely a connoisseur of NARS foundation. So I'm really, really excited to review that for you guys. Back to my Sephora story. So it was around 11.30 midnight-ish and I was on Instagram and this girl said she had like posted like finally I got my hands on the palette just keep trying don't give up and I was like this is bullshit like people have been posting all day that they just keep refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and then the add to cart button pops up I saw that happen it happened to me but it wouldn't let me add it to the cart even though it said add to bag it wouldn't let me add it to bag because then it came up with like a red lettering that said product is out of stock so that kept happening and anyway around that time I was like fuck it I'll just keep trying we were just watching a movie whatever so it worked it worked and I got my bear and I I don't know how it was like some act of God and then Trend Mood actually posted saying the bear was back in stock on the same day it had apparently sold out so that was really fucking sketchy but yeah I just I don't know why um, a bigger youtuber hasn't made a video about it and asked for a why probably because they don't actually have to wait around to buy makeup like the regular person like a regular person does like we do because they always get stuff like sent to them so they never have to wait for anything but yeah I just wish somebody would call Sephora out or I would get an explanation because I would really like to know what the heck happened the other thing that I was really bummed with the launch too is there was no limit on how much you could purchase so I don't think like if you wanted to buy like 10 palettes I don't think the website was gonna stop you so I think that was a little bit unfair but it's like the Hunger Games guys makeup is the like it's a tough world out there and I'm not saying anyone should get like preference or anything but I do think it's crazy how fast things sell out and I've seen a lot of companies put limits on the number of things you can buy mostly because especially stuff like this like designer collabs most people buy an excess amount and then sell it for way more than it's worth on eBay and stuff like that because people that missed out on it then will want it uh, no matter what the price is and I just think that's a little bit fucked up because at the end of the day you know it's it's sad that people are like exploiting the system but enough with the negativity let's head on to the positivity and I am so pumped to show you guys my goodies from the Sephora X Mustino collection now the first thing I want to talk about I'm gonna insert a picture here is the fragrance that came out now I did see a comment on Sephora's website where somebody said this fragrance was already available. I've never seen it before personally, so I picked it up when Trend Mood said it was back in stock and it's so cute. It's basically a bottle shaped like a teddy bear, so I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever smelt the fragrance, so if I like it, I'm keeping it. If it smells like shit, I'm definitely getting rid of it because it was like a $90 fragrance and I don't need to be spending that kind of money unless I really like it. As you can see in the background here, I actually have the Moschino Fresh scent. I just love what Jeremy Scott is doing with well I don't love it I think some of the products are actually really bad I think a lot of the clothing is really awful but I just thought like how genius was it to create a scent in like a Windex bottle I think that's so like cool so he's definitely known for doing out-of-the-box things so I'm excited for my bear perfume next thing I picked up is the compact this was actually pretty affordable so this compact was $18 and this is what it looks like I don't know if I want to take it out of the box yet because I really don't need a compact but I kind of want to keep it as a collector's item so everything has this red blue and yellow theme there is a little cute bear on here a Moschino toy and then it says this is a Moschino compact mirror super cute packaging the next item I picked up was the brush set now I'm definitely planning on using the brush set but look at this packaging guys it's so so beautiful that I haven't had the heart to really like take it out but I did actually play with them a little bit yesterday I haven't used them on my face yet but I did touch them because I remember when Jeffree Star did his review of the collection he said these are very nice and they're pretty weighted and they are the handle definitely feels like it's some kind of metal um, the ferrule I think is plastic bristles are synthetic but look at this detail it's so 
beautiful. I don't even know if I want to use it. I just feel like it should all just be on display, which is pretty pathetic. I know eventually I'll crack into this stuff, but this is the brush set, and I think this was the most expensive thing in the collection. This was $54, so if you guys get a chance to pick up some of these items, I would totally recommend it if you're into it. I think it's so cool. Now here is something I've actually used from the collection. So this is the Moschino Shopping Bag Eyeshadow Palette. I actually watched Samantha March's Will I Bite video today, and she was like, I don't get the, the reference to the shopping bag. and I kind of have to agree with her but I'm really glad that some of the items in the collection were affordable so this was $18 and this is actually the eyeshadow palette I have on my eyes today and I used this t this morning and I think it's an awesome little palette for travel there are six shades in here and I think they all work so well I mean this is such a wearable palette and I must say the quality is actually not bad at all I mean especially for being you know $18 like that's like color pop pricing so for there to be a designer collab with that price I think is pretty remarkable and I just want to swatch these shades for you really quick here on my hand so these are the swatches they didn't swatch uber pigmented but I mean look at my eyes I think it turned out really well and I can see this being a great everyday palette so again if it comes back in stock I would totally recommend checking that palette out does it say on here so this has a 24 month shelf life which I think is really good and it says that it's distributed by Sephora made in the USA and this is a net weight of 0.042 ounces which is 1.2 grams each shadow so I don't think that's too bad I think this is so so cute it feels pretty sturdy too I'm like yanking on these straps and stuff and it feels really well made now if you guys are more interested in a in-depth review on any of these products definitely no let me know in the comments down below the last item I have to show you guys is of course the bear palette and it just came in the mail so I wanted to keep the surprise and I still have it in the box so we are going to unbox it on camera together. You guys, I love a good mail day. This is the Sephora box. I am so, so excited. It doesn't feel very heavy, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think the palette is plastic. I mean, I can't imagine like a whole metal there. So, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, they actually packed my NARS foundation in here which is really cool I never knew Sephora to kind of like put separate orders together so that's kind of nice that they did that because they're saving a tree and stuff you know that's exciting sorry I'm gonna get sidetracked but I kind of want to take a peek at this so this is the shade Tahoe and this is a velvet matte foundation stick so let's see here this is what it looks like I'm so pumped because I haven't tried a lot of foundation sticks I did try the hourglass one and I must say that one is truly excellent so this one has some big shoes to fill and on this side is the applicator which I probably won't use because that would be super gross like after time goes by but uh, yeah this is really exciting and this is 0.31 ounces which is not a lot of product i'm actually kind of disappointed because it's like a 48 dollars foundation i also got a little sample of the bestie jelly cleanser by the brand drunk elephant live love to makeup raves about this stuff so i wanted to get it in a sample because i have so many face washes i didn't really want to invest in full size and drum roll please I literally feel like I won a battle with this palette so I'm so glad it's in my hands I feel like the luckiest girl in the world I feel like I got the golden ticket I'm sorry if somebody else got their palette taken away from them so that I could get one <laughs> I don't actually know if that happened I did read some comments saying people never got like confirmations and their orders got canceled so that's a real bummer, but boy, am I pumped. So you do get a little instruction guide with this, and it has like different looks named after different cities. 
And let's see here on the back. It says, Machino Bear Eyeshadow Palette, the ultimate iconic eyeshadow palette, contains 21 colors in matte satin and shimmer finishes, inspired by the mood and feeling of Machino. Since 2013, Jeremy Scott, the creative director behind Machino, has created chic, convertible designs in fashion while maintaining its independent spirit. Machino translates everything its name touches with innovation and an innate magnetism that is both playful and positive. Based on the concept of offering an alternative to the traditional fashion system, Machino reveals a creativity that is more interested in transforming that exists than being tempted by the ephemeral. I don't know what that word means. In partnership with Sephora, the Los Angeles-based designer now brings his design aesthetic to beauty like never before. When thinking about the collaboration with Sephora, I wanted to capture the iconography of Moschino, and there could be no more perfect of an ambassador to do that than our Moschino mascot teddy toy. Now introducing this limited edition collaboration that unites the playful essence of Mastino with the beauty and expertise of Sephora. With an uptown or downtown vibe, each of these makeup essentials and travel ready accessories feature exclusive colors inspired by the mood and feeling of Mastino, only at Sephora. And then the rest I think is in like French or something. P.S. I forgot to talk about the Mastino like the lip gloss collection. That I really wanted to, but it sold out, so it's okay. I got the bear. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. This is going to look so cute in the background of my videos. Also, just so you guys know, my husband is obsessed with bears. Real ones, not toy bears or teddy bears. But still, but still, I feel like even he can appreciate something so adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is definitely plastic. On the back it says Machino Bear Eyeshadow Palette, 24 months, made in the USA, distributed by Sephora, and then this has 21 shades at 0.028 ounces, which is 0.81 grams. So that's cool because I believe it's the same size as the shadows in here. Um, so who's ready? Here we go. I just want to film every little bit of this. Ah! Oh my god, you guys. This is so cute! I think I'm gonna die. Oh, this is so cool! So you can actually pull the palette, the shadows out, which is nice because if you decide to like depop this or something, you have options. But this is what it looks like, this huge mirror that actually works really well. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, I have to film with this. It's so stunning. So. The, this palette reminds me so much of the Jaclyn Hill palette, just like the shades and stuff, especially with like the blue, it reminds me so much of like Jaclyn's pool party, but the top half is definitely warm, and then on the bottom they have some fun purples, a blue, like a nice electric blue, so without further blabbering, I'm going to get into swatches, because I'm so excited. So the first shade is going to be Adore, which is a beautiful matte, and let's swatch it right here. So there is the shade Adore. Next one is called Penny from Heaven, and it's a beautiful coppery orange shade right there. This feels exactly like the little shopping bag. And then it says Bound Brown, which is a beautiful matte gray brown, which would be like a beautiful lid color that might be really hard to see because of my skin tone. Next is Fantasy, which is a beautiful matte like wine shade. Oh, that swatch, really pretty. And then next is Fort Knox, which is a beautiful gold. That swatch, really nice as well. There are the first five shades from the Bear Palette. Oh my god, I am so excited, I am so excited. Okay, next we're going to swatch the shade Mesmerize which actually looks a lot like the shade Clay, which is the next color I'm going to swatch. But these both look like beautiful shades for my crease. I'm just shocked at how similar they look. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then we have Fleur, which is another nice warm brown red shade. And let me swatch that for you. These mattes are a little bit chalky, but I think when you blend them and on a brush, it'll be great. Plus I have arm hair, so. This next shade is Angel Wings, and it's a beautiful champagne shade. I think that would be really pretty 
packed on your eyelids. And then the next shade is Kisses, which is another brown, warm, reddish terracotta shade. You guys can see that. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to like this bottom section right here. And I would say more funner colors. So there's a beautiful matte purple shade here called Prairie Flowers, or Prairie Flower, right there. Do you guys see that? And then the next shade is Pixie Dust. I'm trying to swatch so you guys can see. There it is right there is Pixie Dust. Next is a beautiful, like, darker purple called Moon Dust. There it is right there. It's very close to that previous shade. Then there is a matte black in here called Magic. Uh, it's kind of patchy. Not the best shade, but that's okay. I don't really ever wear black from palettes anyway. And then we have a beautiful gold called Spun Gold. And I'm just going to swatch that over here. So then I have the beautiful Midnight Blue shade called Nightlife. This reminds me a lot of a shade in the Juvia's Place Nubian palette. Very pretty. And then we have Twilight Blue, which I said reminds me a lot of Pool Party by Jaclyn Hill. Let's watch really well as well. And then we have a shade called Attitude, which looks like MAC Blue Brown pigment. Such a popular color, but it's more of like a purple. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a dual chrome shade. And then there's another pretty bronze shade called Palace. which looks a lot like the shade Pixie Dust. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then there are two other shades. So we have Barely Bare, which is a pretty like neutral brown, and then Deep Sea, which is a beautiful blue. So let me swatch those right here. Oh, that one didn't really. Oh, no, I have it on the wrong. So here's Barely Bare, it's like a pretty tan nude shade. I think it'd be pretty hard to see on my skin tone. And then this is Deep Blue, which is, or Deep Sea, which is super pretty. So here are all the crazy swatches from the Bear palette. How cool is this, you guys? I'm literally dying of happiness right now. And it's actually a good palette, which is great. Like. They didn't really skim on the quality or anything, which makes me really happy. The palette was $48, which I think is actually pretty reasonable considering it is this item and it's a partnership with like a high-end brand. So yeah, that is the swatches of the Bear Palette. Okay guys, that is everything I picked up from the Sephora X Chino collection. Let me know what your favorite item was down below. Let me know what you were able to snag. Let me know if you thought that whole release was super sketchy like I did. I'd be so curious to hear from my subscribers. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I usually upload every other day, so you definitely get a ton of content from me. I do encourage you to subscribe down below so you can keep up with my new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Bye.